Hello, and welcome to Bring Session on winning the customer with a last mile experience at Dreamforce 2021. My name is Nick Trakis. I'm the global head of our Salesforce partnership at Bring, and I'm delighted to be here with you today. And I could not be more excited to be here today with Matt Marcotte. Matt, do you want to introduce yourself to the group? Hey, Nick. Yes, yeah, sure. My name is Matt Marcotte, and I am the global head of the retail and consumer goods industry advisor team here at Salesforce. And I'm super excited to be doing this with you today, Nick. Thanks, Matt. And so let me kick off our session here a little bit and give a little bit of background and context here. Um, you know, today, retailers and logistics providers are facing today's new digital reality and a need to differentiate at scale and to gain market share. Using data delivery and fulfillment orchestration technology, Bring rapidly enables new fulfillment and delivery models that maximize customer experience and optimize opera operations and scale up the business. So during the next 20 minutes, we're gonna to aim to explore delivery through the key trends for retailers and consumer goods organizations. And so let's, take, let's talk about our first trend here. So Matt, can you share a little on how retailers are rethinking and leveraging their retail footprint today? Yeah, sure, thanks, Nick. Um, so listen, we all know that retailers are changing how they think about their stores, not just as standalone, but also part of an omni-channel ecosystem, right? We know that stores, really allow brands to bring both the product and the experience closer to where the customers were. But we also know that the customers spent the last year and a half shopping from their couches, right? So there are three major factors that we saw that really played a role in their purchasing decisions. As you can see here, the first being availability. Can I even get it? Second being convenience. How easy is it for me to get this idea of frictionless, seamless, and then value, is it really worth my time and effort to be able to get what I wanna get, right? So during the pandemic, we saw a digital only experience due to the stores being closed, these forced digital behaviors, but we're also seeing now as customers come out of the pandemic that they want a hybrid experience. They want the best of both worlds and get ready for this, Nick, it's called fidgetal. I right? love fidgetal. We are all hearing all the time now. Um, in fact, you know, 68% of customers say that COVID-19 has elevated their expectations of companies' digital capabilities. So they're emerging from the pandemic with a heightened sense of expectation around digital. They also want choices that they can get online and in stores, but they want those choices to be delivered as quickly, as frictionless, and as contactless in a way as possible. In fact, 83% of shoppers now expect flexible shipping and fulfillment options such as BOPIS. And the reality is the end-to-end -end experience is critical for brands to build repeat purchases and ultimately loyalty. So for those of you old enough to remember the good old days where the transaction at the POS was how the customer judged the entire shopping experience. We call it the recency effect, Nick. That's another one for you. Um, you know, in fact, 80% of customers are now saying that experience that a company provides is as important as the products and services they sell. So Nick, what I think this really kind of means is last mile fulfillment, whether it's pickup and store, curbside, or home deliver delivery really has the ability to create the new world recency effect that will determine how customers feel about retailers and brands. I think that's amazing, Matt, and and I love the term digital. So thank you for adding that to my to my Very lexicon. Well. That's fantastic. So let's move on to the next piece of this, and let's talk about the challenges that retailers face. You know, as they start to kind of operate in this omni-channel world, and this move towards a more agile fulfillment experience does come with its issues. Um, while over half of the retailers were offering BOPIS or curbside, fifty-one percent said they rely on manual pickup and delivery operations. This approach was a Band-Aid during this pandemic um, as retailers were trying to react to all these consumer changes that were happening. But it's also proven to be inefficient and not scalable and at times results in kind of poor customer experiences. When it comes to delivery, the number one challenge for retailers are just a lack of delivery resources. Um, you know, many retailers ran to sign with a single delivery from store provider, which often resulted in poor coverage, uh, especially at peak times or as retailers operate across a, you know, diverse geography um, across the country, that, that provider may have limited capabilities in those geographies. 
However, without technology to manage multiple providers, retailers lack visibility into their delivery status or performance insight into their customer experience. And so with this in mind, it should come as no surprise that 62% of retailers reported that they had no same day delivery offering. So as we start to think about how do we start to address this? And so I think one of the things that Bring has helped the world leading enterprises is to scale up and optimize their last mile fulfillment operations via a uni unified technology platform. And that platform connects to multiple third party fleets it can even optimize their own existing fleets if they have them. And it can also orchestrate the entire process across both pickup and delivery for the retail associates, the drivers, and the consumers who are all participating in this experience. So now let's take a little time and introduce you to Bring through this next video that will show you how Bring prov is, provides smarter logistics, faster delivery, and happier people. When it comes to deliveries, it's no longer about getting things from point A to B. It's about a seamless, transparent, and lightning fast experience. One where your customer's delivery arrives when and where they want it. Meet Bring, the smartest, fastest way to scale up and optimize your delivery and fulfillment operations. Bring's data-led cloud solution connects, automates, and orchestrates every element of your logistics operations, so you can ensure perfect end-to-end -end fulfillment and flawless customer experiences. So whatever your business may be, Bring's platform gives you all the tools to scale up and optimize your fulfillment operations. Bring. Smarter logistics. Faster delivery. Happier people. So now that you've had a, a sense in terms of a little bit more about Bring, Let's start diving into the next trend, Matt, and let's talk, go a little deeper into the delivery experience and discuss some trends retailers are facing with providing a unified fulfillment experience. Sure. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, listen, I, I think, you know, the word innovation <laughs> gets used a lot, but um, it is important, right? So innovation around how retailers get products to customers, cut down on friction and improve the overall shopping experience, as you were just talking about before, really is critical, especially around last mile breakthroughs. And what we have seen over the past you know, year, year and a half, is that 54% of customers want new products and services. What's even more interesting than that is that 68% of them want new ways to get existing products and services. But no matter whether they want new products, new ways to get them, 76% of customers expect consistency across the end-to-end -end experience. So owning that relationship, owning that consistent experience is so critical for brands to figure out day in, day out. And if there's one thing the pandemic taught us is that retailers and brands have to meet customers where they are and deliver products when, how, and where customers want. So no longer do customers need to push themselves out of their comfort zones or get off their couches, right? To be okay with how retailers want them to, to behave, but rather it's the other way around. Customers are literally in the proverbial driver's seat. Um, <laughs> how perfect for this presentation, right? Yes. Um, with the move to online, the choices are endless. We all saw that, we all know that. And people have visibility to things they never had visibility to before. And delivery of those choices is really critical. So if you go to the next slide, we'll see some interesting statistics. So during last holiday, if you can really read this bar graph, um, stores with customer-centric delivery options like Bopis saw increased digital revenue of 49% over LY versus stores that did not have these options, which only saw a 29% growth. So huge difference in results. And then those with curbside, drive-through and in-store pickup options had a 54% digital revenue growth year over year in the five days leading up to Christmas versus a 34% growth with those brands and retailers that did not have those options. So I think, Nick, it's pretty clear, right, that delivery is a huge differentiator and growth vehicle in this new age of, wait for it, digital. <laughs> no, and I think what's interesting about that, Matt, is, you know, the number of consumers that have had changed behaviors as a result of this. Yes. And, and it's not just the younger demographics, we're seeing older demographics, you know, embracing these new digital capabilities, um, these new delivery capabilities. And these are definitely gonna be lasting trends 
um, and expectations that all yeah. consumers at, at all diverse ranges are going to be expecting kind of going forward. So. Yeah. And Nick, you're so right. There's so much research that supports exactly what you said. It's not just the younger generation that is actually, we talk about Gen Z all the time. It's not just Gen Z, it's no. literally from baby boomers down. Because as we were saying before, COVID and being locked down in your house has actually forced people to adopt and realize new muscles and new behaviors that are not going away, but they're just coming out in more hybrid um, um, expressions. Great. Well, let me talk to a little bit about how Bring is going to be, you know, addressing some of these new uh, behaviors that have happened as a result of this pandemic. So let's move on and start talking a little bit about Bring's mission which is really about helping retailers and logistics companies scale up and optimize their customer experience and logistics operations. We do this with our innovative delivery and fulfillment cloud platform that connects, automates, and orchestrates technology, people, and providers. Retailers need to deploy a unified platform that is flexible and agile to meet their customer expectations across in-store, same-day delivery, even white glove delivery for those large and bulky items. But it also has to be open, modular, and built to scale as the business continues to grow and expand and these delivery capabilities continue to expand. And they also have to have demand-driven capacity to fulfill speed and drive convenience at all times that the delivery experience needs to happen. And with real-time data, visibility, and communications to drive efficiency and help control the cost of these delivery options. To demonstrate this equalist ecosystem-led approach, let's consider a little bit about this delivery hub. And the delivery hub from Bring presents retailers with instant access to millions of drivers from dozens of specialized providers around the globe, including sustainable or green delivery. Fleets are pre-integrated, providing easy access and real-time data sync with branded delivery and more. And as part of our vision to make great delivery and fulfillment accessible, usable and valuable to everyone, we have built a Salesforce native application integrated with Salesforce order management and it's GA and it's released now on the App Exchange. This application delivers an exceptional digital experience by offering an easy, efficient and reliable and transparent last mile delivery and pickup solution. Being native on Salesforce enables retailers using this app to quickly deliver last mile delivery all from one integrated experience. So let's take a little time now and Matt, and let's look a little forward mm. and let's talk a little bit about how sustainability plays a role in this last mile experience that we're talking about. Yeah, this is, this is such a great topic. I'm so happy we're talking about this because it's so critical and you're right, Nick, we all play a big role in this. Um, and I think one of the things that we have to think about, especially as retailers, is there are so many ways to become more sustainable. But one of those ways is to minimize the amount of touches a product gets on its way to the customer. As you can see from this very complicated chart, 29% <laughs> of greenhouse gas emissions in the United States are from transportation. It's the largest single percent of emissions coming from all the different um, inputs to that. So when you think about kind of um, retailers trying to get closer to the customer to not only get them their products faster, but to decrease the impact of long haul delivery, it's work worth doing, right? So wouldn't it be better to kind of fulfill from a store close to you versus shipping from a distribution center that's hundreds or thousands of miles away from where you live when possible, right? So consider this example, you know, according to multiple sources, 90% of Americans live within 10 miles or 10 minutes of a Walmart. So just think about the power of that localized fulfillment, right? Whether it's pickup in store, curbside or local delivery, the amount of miles and fuel and emissions saved by leveraging a store fleet can be incredibly meaningful and powerful, not to mention profitable for retailers and brands. And, and the reason I say that is if you go to the next slide, you'll see that customers are paying more attention than they ever have to what companies are doing. 71% are paying more attention to companies' values, and values means how they show up in the world, things like sustainability and the choices they make than they did a year ago. And they're making purchasing decisions based on what they see. This is incredibly powerful. 61% have stopped buying from a company 
whose values did not align with theirs. And 59% have actually moved to companies whose values did align with theirs. And 51% of customers think they have a voice in the changes and direction of a company. So clearly we are in the age of the consumer being in the power seat and they want to make sure that companies are showing up and doing good for, um, for the planet, for the environment, and for each other, right? And so I, this idea of utilizing efficient, productive, and eco-friendly technology platforms like you were talking about um, is a great way to optimize stores and delight your customers. So if you go to the next slide, you'll see we still have a lot of opportunity to really be able to take action. And if you think about this Forrester uh, research, you know only 42% of retailers are actively educating customers about trade-offs in choosing greener delivery options, like giving them the choice of you can get it from an electric vehicle versus a gas powered vehicle. Um, only 30% incentivize consumers to select the greener options. And only 30% are using imagery and analogies to explain carbon emission amounts. So while people are actually taking action, which is great, we have a long way to go. And there's a lot of opportunity to actually make choices and partner with companies that are really taking sustainability seriously. And what I love about this, Matt, is, you know, it, these stats really show that the consumer can really be a part of these decisions. It's up to the retailer to help them understand their impact and help them make different decisions through this yeah, process. Absolutely. So, amazing insight. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, and so one thing that I know that, you know, retailers are looking for today are ways to do their part to address this global climate crisis. And many retailers and logistics providers are making serious commitments towards carbon reduction or net zero carbon emissions. And technology can play a very powerful role in helping retailers and consumer goods brands reduce these carbon emissions. And here's just a few, here's just a few thoughts. Um, being able to ship from store can reduce carbon emissions by 2x. So it aligns right to what you were talking about, Matt, earlier. Route optimization in metropolitan markets. You know, so you think about the Walmart set that you talked about, Matt. We're now able to kind of yield seven to nine percent less carbon emissions by being able to to optimize the route that that delivery actually happens, um, whether by their own fleet or by a third party fleet. And then batching deliveries to a single customer can reduce emissions by 55 to 60 percent less. I'm guilty. I've had many boxes from Amazon show up from multiple different drivers. Yeah. So I understand that I have a responsibility, but also too, Amazon has a responsibility to help me to kind of package this all together as well. And even prioritizing delivery vehicles can reduce emissions by 3x. So again, giving consumers options um, to be able to make some of these green decisions can be huge. But this moving on to the next slide. We, oh, sorry, Matt, go ahead. No, this is just such powerful data. It really is. It, it really is. It's amazing. And I think it's we all it's it's in our it's in our grasp um, as consumers and as retailers and consumer goods companies. We can do this. Mm -hmm. Um, and one way that we can do this is by the Bring Green Tech practice. And we're actively working to deliver smarter, sustainable solutions across the improving ecosystem. We can drive customer communications that uh, drive green delivery options. You know, again, making the customer uh, part of the decision. Expanding the delivery hub that I talked about earlier with additional green fleets and helping these green fleets better differentiate themselves to retailers, consumers as they're making these choices. And last but not least, empowering retailers with the tools and fleets they need to reduce their carbon footprint from fleet selection through customer communications. And so let me summarize a little bit about today's session. And first of all, thank you for all attending. I think this has been fantastic. And I think we've really talked a little bit about several different things. One thing is about winning the customer with the last mile experience it requires retailers to use their local presence, their retailer stores to accelerate this omni-channel growth. And this omni-channel success requires a unified data-led technology to orchestrate fulfillment of and delivery. But Bring enables this new innovative delivery and fulfillment model that maximizes your customer experience, optimizes your operations, and scale your business for growth. And so I look forward for retailers and consumers alike to look more into meaningful ways to reduce their carbon footprint. Technology plays a critical role in meeting the sustainability, but we as consumers, as retailers, and as an overall industry, have a responsibility to help drive some of these changes. And so for this, Matt, I can't thank you enough for being uh, so insight insightful, sharing your views and being a part of this great session today. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Nick, for having me. It's always great to work with you and to be able to share some of this data with everybody else. So thank you. And thanks to all of you and enjoy your Dreamforce experience.